Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Aquarius, we're gonna go ahead and get started with your reading. This is gonna be a general whatever flips in reverse. It's in reverse, whatever's upright is upright. I'm gonna have a little fun with it today. All right, so this is for Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, you have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Oh, this is good. The Ten of Wands in reverse is really, really good because this talks about releasing certain, certain, um, I would, say, I would say responsibility, but I feel like it's just a heaviness, right? It's like whatever has been bothering you, something that has just been so like heavy or tough to deal with, that's what you're releasing. That's, I mean, it, did I expect anything different from your reading though? I really, I don't think I, I should anyway, because you, you guys have been having such a good reading. You guys have so much responsibility and part of this responsibility could come from family and work and you're just like, everyone is relying on you. You go to work, they rely on you. You go home, they rely on you. You have a lot that is on your shoulders, but there is at least something that is going to be released to reduce the energy of the heaviness. Now, however way that means for you, that's how it happens. This is the reason why it's a general because everyone can relate instead of saying one particular situation. You're getting things done. Okay. And again, like I said, before, and, you're, and I feel like there's a fiery energy with you as well. So it's like, it's not just about like the things that's being released. Like once you feel this reduction of like heaviness and, and this burden, you are going to like be I mean, full steam ahead with the other goals and the things that you want to do in your life. So that's what makes this right. You're taking action or you're going to be way more action oriented because there is a reduction in heaviness. I like where it says that you are part of this could be you. So let's just say you weren't, you, your head wasn't in the game. It wasn't really anybody else. It was you. I like where it says that get your priorities straight. This is you, Aquarius. Get your life right. That's another way that I say it. Get your priority straight. Get your head in the game. You know, I feel like you are going to be more stable, more grounded. That's where you're going to be. I feel like you're taking charge of your life. You're starting to establish something and you love it. But I can go on and on. I'm telling you, this looks so good. And some of you guys going to become either fathers or mothers. Congratulations, Aquarius. Let's keep going. This is for Aquarius. Let's see what's coming out here. For Aquarius. Oh my gosh. This literally came in the upright. I told you. I, I might as well not have even. I should have just opened a read and said, you already know that you're blessed by God. Okay. You're going to get the money that you want. You're going to get the love that you want. Okay. Whatever. Talk to you later. Click. <laughs> Cut off the camera. I mean, click because truly, like, and I'm not joking, like, this is part of the way your readings have been going anyway. So, I mean, this is really a confidence booster for you, okay? It talks about a partner, whether new, maybe you are not in a connection with anyone right now, but it talks about a partner that's going to come into your life where it, and I'm just telling you, this looks like marriage to me. I don't say that because it's the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is only partner partnership. It's not an actual marriage. It's just a partnership. You could be... In a partnership with someone for 10 years. But I feel like this person is going to be more than just a partner. So that's really good for single people. And that's also good for people who are in long term, or not necessarily long term, but people who have been dating for a while. That that is just really, it's just really, really good. I just don't know what else to say. Okay. It says a loving exchange. Maybe someone expresses themselves someone tells you how they feel maybe before they kind of held it back they held it in right they were trying to control their feelings like and that could be you Aquarius you may actually be like that with new people you may love them or like them so much but you're so good at controlling yourself it, sometimes to the point where the other person don't even know if you like them at all right but I love it I love it and that and to me like I said before part of the ten of wands being reversed which is, I would have said this anyway, even if it was upright, but 
it is saying, I, this is something I no longer have to deal with. Now, this is something I no longer have to deal with. I literally have a partner in crime here in a good way. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Let's see. This is for Aquarius. A lot of you have had setbacks with your finances in really drastic ways, like really drastic ways. You've had, you know, uh, setbacks in your finances. So one thing that I will tell you is that, you know, for those who are, it's been extreme, meaning like you, you, you want one step forward, two back, right? Like if you've been in that energy, it will change, but I felt it's going to not feel it will change, but it'll slowly get better because, you know, unless you are just fortunate enough to win a lottery, then you're not going to be rich overnight. Unless you're fortunate enough to have someone that's going to come in your life and just pow money in your lap, it's not going to, you're not going to be rich overnight. So it'll take time. But, you know, taking time doesn't mean that you're in this in this same position the whole time. It just means it takes time to actually rack up. Okay. So I do see where things are going to like stack up for you. Now here with the tower. Hmm. I want to tell you I do feel like for a few of you, it's not an ending per se. But there could be something you may find out about someone that you are with. Okay? Tower moment is like, like it says, it's a shocking thing. It's a shocking situation. Now, part of that shocking is the fact that somebody came in your life real fast, okay? Or just surprisingly they're there. But I do feel like this card is not talking about this, but I'm just saying some of you may experience that in a connection. So I'm just combining it. And that may be coming out because part of the burden that some of you have been carrying is carrying someone else. Remember, we talked about release in the beginning of the reading. We kept saying release or reducing the energy of heaviness. And so for some of you, that could have been somebody we're with. It doesn't have to be a spouse, but it could be someone that you had feelings for. Like, how else can you get the type of love that you want if you're holding on to someone who isn't going to be progressive? They're not bringing anything into your life, whatever, whatever reason. This needs to happen in order for you to get the type of love you want. But I do see that. There is something that I see that some of you guys may experience um, because of just boredom. Or you're just dealing with someone too um, who is irresponsible and they're going to learn from their irresponsibleness. Now, I will say this could be either you or them. I, with this reading, I don't know who this could be. But I do see that that could happen. You may even find out about it or you have to be you have to be just in general, just be mindful of what you do, because this could be coming from money, like could be gambling, just because they know whatever. Right. So that's what I see. This is for Aquarius. Carbon fall. Knight of Swords. Aquarius, you do have somebody coming in here that could be a Cancer or Scorpio. Remember when I said that somebody, I literally, literally just said that someone, because of their irresponsibility, their irresponsible nature, because they're very impulsive, there's going to be something that's going to be... A little disastrous. Like, like if you know that you should not spend money on cakes because you're going to gain weight because of, you know, diabetes, but you keep doing it. Yeah, it could be it's going to lead to a d disastrous uh, conclusion. So the same thing, I feel like it happens with someone who is not listening to their higher self. Someone is not listening because someone is being impulsive. So like I said, it could be you or them. The Knight of Swords is a warning to slow down on something that you just feel like you can't 
you, you don't have control over. It's a, you know, watch what you say to somebody. It's a watch what you buy. It's a watch who you date and get into and get into partnerships too quickly without really knowing the person. So you see what I'm saying? It's just a PSA. But you do have something that I feel like someone definitely coming in here. But the warning is to slow down. Okay. And some of you are going to be releasing somebody who keeps coming in and out anyway. Right? Like this is, yeah, exactly. You want to release someone who's coming in and out. And that's what I said. In order for you to get the type of love you want, you may have to release somebody and you talk, whether you talk to them or not, you want to release them and then you become free. You step into the unknown with new people. This is just what it is. And look at what's on the bottom of the day. I, it, you can't, you just can't get out of the blessing energy. <laughs> Certain things you're going to have to heed to because the universe is trying to help you. But other than that, you guys are getting such a beautiful energy, some beautiful cards here. This is just amazing. There's so much freedom. This talks about free. The sun talks about free. Hmm. There's, some, there's someone who's going to put like such a rush in your heart. You're going to be like, oh my God. Like you're so, just so in this like, beautiful, amazing feeling energy because of someone. All right, last one here for Aquarius. Look at this. So, like I said, this is the wheel of, this is the wheel of fortune in the reverse. This talks about things that are beyond your control, okay? I th This also talks... Somebody, because they are out of control, you are dealing with someone who's out of control. And like I said, the, uh, the warning is, is to slow down, right? I see here that there are some challenges coming from some, someone or coming from somewhere or something that's happening because someone didn't A, heed the warning or someone isn't listening to the universal God. I'm just saying it. And I feel like this could have something to do with someone, like an argument. This could have something, like someone could be like abusive or something like that. I'm just saying, okay? Because I feel like it's something unpredictable, okay? Someone's unpredictable behavior. So, you know, that's what I see on that end because it's like the warning is, which is beautiful that they even said it, the warning is to slow down. Don't, don't be in this energy of just moving so quickly without thinking. Okay. Love it. Either way, Aquarius, that's what I have. We are going to come back for your love reading. That's what I have for you today. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye.